Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sudoku. Today we're going to be looking at a regular anti-night Sudoku by Wessel... Will I say it? Strigstra... <laughs> Tried so hard. Uh, enjoy, also have fun. Digits 1 to 9 in every row, column, and region. Sills the knights move away, cannot contain the same digit. It's weird, I feel like a tab is playing audio, but I'm not sure which one. Where do I start here? This is interesting, but I'm not sure if it's helpful. If you look at nines in this region, it can only appear in these spots, which all get seen by this spot. So this spot in the middle can't be a seven. Uh, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're missing. Nine then? Yeah, there's a one here. Hmm. We've got five repeating, which limits it over this way. So this five sees both of those, and a five here would kill both of those. So the five in here is pretty limited. There's to be a 5 in one of these spaces, so this can't be a 5. Although I guess we already knew that from this 5. Hmm. What about these 3's overlapping? Tricky start. Oh, this one is actually pretty impactful here. Of course, there's a one there, there. So it can't be one there, there, or there, and there. Just don't know here. What does this mean? Something about the layout here as well. Can I keep working on the fives? This doesn't feel like enough to limit it. Five in this row is either there or there. I don't know what all that means. Regular Sudokus are weird to me, because I... They all work differently.
twos do see quite a bit in here because of the anti nice rule, so two can only be there or there. Which is surprisingly limited. Two in this region is also limited. So that limits two in this region. Hmm. What does that all do? Well, twos are sort of segmented, right? If you look at this, we sort of know where twos go in here. Not sure if only notating is the answer. I'm trying to find a pattern here. I'm not sure if I'm looking in the right spot. So this can't be a two. Oh wait, no, it would only hit one of them. So if this were a two, this would be a two. I don't know if it says enough. I think this too is more impactful. Forces all that. I don't know though, I don't know. This too maybe? Huh, I think this might have actually done something. Uh, so this two hits both of those, forcing this into being a two. And this region needs a two, so it must go here. Now there's nowhere to put a two in this region. And if it starts there, of course there's a 2 over there, and a 2 in there in that region. And now there's nowhere to put it in the middle region. If it starts here, of course there's a 2 there and there. 
This seems doable. Yeah, but does it does it change the rest of the puzzle in a useful way? This too is pretty out there. It hits all the same buttons. Breaks. Wow. So this two would force a two here. And then this two forces a two there, which forces a two there. And lastly, a two up here, which forces a two there. And now there's no two possibility up there. So that can no longer be a two. So now one of those is a two. Now if this is a two, that forces a two here, here, and here. Here, which leaves the X Wing, which seems okay. <laughs> Likely, even. Uh, let's see, what else can I do? A two here or here would force that two down there. So like a two here, for instance, force a two in one of those, two's there and there. That on its own seems to be fine. Yeah, and a two here forces a two down there. Let me look at fives one more time. It might be something easy I'm missing. Five and twos are the only repeating numbers. They could be pulling something with like the seven maybe or the one, I don't know. Just not seeing much here. I think I'm gonna take a break. I'm staring too closely at this. Hey guys, I'm back. It's actually a different day now. Just woke up. Uh, so I talked to the puzzle setter and they said, you want to look at the digits in the bottom right box first. So I think I'm just going to fully notate this.
Well, uh, yeah, that didn't seem to work. Well, seven here and eight here. So like this can't be a eight. I'm going to keep looking at twos. Maybe it's one of these twos that ends up mattering. I don't know, they seem kind of far away. Unless one forces this. Maybe it's the three. this actually be it? I should have just highlighted them. That would have been better. No way. It was threes. 
men. Wait, what am I doing? There can't be threes here. So if there's a three here, then there has to be a three in one of those. So there can't be a three here. And if three's here, then there can't be a three here because of um, normal Sudoku rules. So that can never be a three. If this is a three, that's a three, and that's a three. X-wing here on those threes. That's a three. That's a three. Now that's a three. And now where do I put a 3 in that region? Let's go over that one more time. So we start off with those 3s, which gets us that. And now none of these six cells can be threes, so the three has to be in one of those three spots. And anti knight hits that, so that's a three. And now that by normal Sudoku and that by normal Sudoku means that this is a three. And therefore there's no more possible space for a three this whole thing. So that's not three. So this three is in a line, which means none of these can be a three. So now this can't be a three because it hits every three in this region. If this is a three, then that's a three. I think again there's no more threes left. Yeah, the only place would be here, which would contradict. So that's not a three. How about this one. That also, I think, doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work for a lot of reasons. So now this three would force a three here. This all connects in a really interesting way. This one actually works interesting. About this three. Right, this three doesn't work, and I think this three also won't work for the same reason. Because then this three is locked into those two spots, and there can't be a three here. So now this three is in a line. Which means 
that the three here must be in one of these two spots. Trying to think of which of these is the most does anything. I'm going to check out this one first. Yeah, that breaks it. Because there's nowhere to place a 3 in this region. That 3 takes out those 3s, and we get a digit. Yeah, so it was the bottom right that collapses everything. I still kind of doubt that that's the intended way, because that seemed way too difficult, but... I guess everyone has their own standard of how difficult a puzzle should be. Alright, now this can't be a 3... Is that where the trail runs cold? Seems like it. We did get our first number though, so that's always exciting. Once you get it down to two, I don't think this strategy works anymore. Unfortunately. <laughs> Maybe we can look at twos again now that they've been changed a little bit. Alright, what's the most does something? Two here, forces two here. To all those spots. Seems to work. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe it's something more obscure. Yeah, so now because there's only two places here, this would hit both of them, so this two has to be in this row do still end up with an X-Wing, which is fine. And it should be reversed if I do this too. So now the two here is in these two spots, so this two would hit it. So this two is up there. Still an X-Wing ending, not too exciting. <sighs> Maybe... Fives now? Yeah, 
Yeah, I think the logic I've been missing out on is, um... <sighs> just the fact that with squares, if you have one digit, then you know that they have to line up like this, so there can't be fives anywhere else in these areas. Which might be important. Oh yeah, it is, because this 5 hits that square. So there has to be a 5 in one of these two squares. So there has to be a 5 in one of those three squares. So 5 here is locked into two spots now. Oh right, now this 5 hits that, so the only place a 5 can go in this middle section is right here. That must have been what I was supposed to see earlier. And that moves the 2. So now I can finally focus on 2 somewhere. since I was fixated on them for some reason. <laughs> Alright, now this 2 is in a line, so there can't be 2's up there. Hmm. Alright, now this 2 is in a line, so that's not a 2. So that's a 2, and that's a 2, and now we're cooking. Okay, so what are we missing here? Four, seven, and nine. So this must be one and three. No, one, two, three, four, five. One and six. So now the 6 in here is pretty limited because it can't be up there anymore. This space can't be a 6 because there needs to be a 6 in this box, this box, and that region. So 6 here is in one of those spots, which is weird to notate, but I will. Don't you worry. About a thing, cause every little thing gonna be all right. Try and think what else I can do with this information. Might get back to staring at twos, which is my <laughs> thing I must do. If I just had one more two, I'd be able to get so much more. That's rough. Oh, right, this can't be a five. it would hit both those fives. Why couldn't this be a five again? Oh, 
All right, because it hits all of those. Okay. Five in this row is pretty limited now. Hmm. Right, seven in this region, now that we've got the five there, it must be here. So that's a seven, because of knight's roll. One of those is a seven. No, not like that. So this can't be a seven. Seven here limited means that that can't be a seven. very limited as well. Must be seven one of those. Actually, there must be seven in one of these because every other area is blocked. Let's just check this 7 and see if it complies with everything. Looks good so far. I think it just ends up on X-Wing. Hooked on an X-Wing. I don't believe in. I don't think this one works. So it needs to be a seven in one of those spots. So I think in general, this can't be a seven because if this is a seven, there's nowhere to put one in that box. That seven takes the place of the six. So I'm gonna try to keep that in mind. Seven's in here, pretty spread. All right, the seven hits this box, meaning that this is a seven. I think we end up with a nice, friendly X-wing. So now that that six hits all those, the six in this region must be down here. Which lines up with twos and threes, I guess? Yeah, twos, threes, and sixes. And then let's mark all these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this can't be a four, eight, or a nine. Could still be a one, so there's a lot of variance still. Oh my gosh, there's another hidden triple. Neither of these spaces could be one, and this space can't be one. So one, five, and six. I knew the one would come in handy eventually. Now this can't be a one, so the one in this region must be somewhere over here. 
I'm gonna notate that. Because I'm crazy. So what remains? Four. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Might be time to look at eights. See how they're stacking up. So we know where all the eights go here. There's one per region. The two squares and the line on the bottom. What else is missing an eight? Maybe it's not eight, maybe it's fours. Oh, it's fives. Yeah, that one can't be six by normal Sudoku. Once we're getting all fast at the end is when I get nervous. The six sees that. Must be six in one of those spaces, so that can't be a six. So six there can only go in those three. <laughs> How do I figure out where these fours go? Seven's time to shine. We got T six restricted in the cell. The only way I can get a nine is if it's a naked single. Because of how ones work, there has to be a one in this region. One, two, three, four. There has to be a four in all those spots. And a nine is wild. Sudoku this early. <laughs> Not a good idea. Alright, what about fives? Can we almost finish up fives? So we've only got three fives left. If this is a five, that happens. If this is a five, there's an X wing. Yeah, 
I don't think we can get anywhere here. Except for that this can't be a 5. Because of Sudoku rules. I don't think that changes anything. Oh, we have another one. Don't remember when that got there. The one it's either there or there. Don't know how to notate that. Something to keep in mind though. Sixes still feel like there's some stuff going on there. So one, six, eight, and four are all very limited in that column. One, two, three, four. Six. Seven, eight. And nine. in this row is even there or there. It seems powerful enough. Fours and eights. What if I say I'm not like the others? All right, I can use the same logic here. Uh, there has to be a 4 in one of those spaces, and a 4 in one of these spaces. So, um, it can't be 4s anywhere else in here. So 4 in there is in one of those three spaces. The most annoying thing about Night Sudoku is that they have this blind spot here. Wait, what's going on with sevens? Why is sevens restricted here? Alright, oh, because of those up there. So that can't be a seven. So this is the seven. No. What? Oh, I misread. The sevens are down here. Okay, I would have been so mad if I made a mistake after all this time. We just ended the video there and not uploaded it. Um. 
just another soul sail oh well da 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 I feel like there's something more going on. Just don't see what... Oh, I'm looking at once here, by the way. Although... Four right here would be interesting. Interesting enough, though. It's gotta be AIDS. It's gotta be some way to figure out what's going on with them. It's so isolated, though. Right, this row is missing 4, 8, and 9, but it sees 8. So there's got to be a way to spread the 4's influence. Well, this is a mirror of this. Let's say they're both four, because that's the thing I know more about right now. What happens if they're all fours? One of those three spaces is a four. This is a four. This four sees both of those, so this becomes a four. And then... This would have to be a four. This would have to be a four. There's nowhere to put a four over here. So I started by saying that these are fours. Let's see if I can get back to where I was. This four sees both of those. So that becomes the only four left, and that becomes the only four left, and that becomes the only four left. So this right side all looks good. There's a four per region. Everything is fine. Now in this, in this region, the four must be here. This region, the 4 must be here, and now there's nowhere to place a 4 in this region. So these are both 9s. That is a 4. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it could be eight still. Yeah, it's six or eight. Is this the same? No, because it could be a four. Thought I could get a pair there. Do you always want to push my lead? Should be a two seven nine pair. I'm just 
just another song to say. Well. Can I finish up sixes? Yep. Well, it would be pretty impactful if this became a six. <laughs> would it? Horizontal is limited. Let me just double check this. Threes can't be here because uh, there needs to be a three in this region. Well, there's two spots. Can't the three in this region be here? Right, because the three in this region is pencil mark. Sevens are normal Sudoku, fours I just figured out. Nines are wild. looking at ones. Uh, something interesting happens if this is a one. See if you can spot it. So the first important thing it does is uh, it knocks a one one of these two spots so this can't be a one and now we've got two rows with three ones in the same spot so they can't be in the middle because they kill all of them so the one in the middle must be in one of these two wait no it can't be in one of these two because then it would cross so I guess ones could still be over here as well But anyways, uh, back to the ones. So we get that one next. And I think we get to the same problem where the ones here and the ones here are directly parallel because of the ones here. So this one doesn't work. So the other one in this region is pretty limited as well. But uh, more importantly, that adjusts a two. So this is a two now. Where are my remaining twos? Ah, oh, they don't line up. 
Anyways, four in this box is now solved. As is six, as is eight. Those all end up being pairs. Which is pretty useful. Hmm. What do I look at next? Well, I got the whole right side of the grid basically finished. Uh, this four is seen twice actually. Well, it's seen by eight. Ooh, eight, nine pair. Always like to see a good eight, nine pair. Nine, two, and seven left to put in here. So this can't be nine, two, seven, could be one, can't be two, three, four, five, six, could be six, can't be seven, could be eight. Is the puzzle broken, or could this be 8? Why does it say that this can't be 8? Did I just not write 8 down? I think I wrote 9 instead of 8. Did I just assume that this would be 8, or what happened there? Must have just been zoning out, I guess. That's the biggest danger of these super long puzzles. <laughs> just zoning out. Uh, this can't be a 8, because then there's no possible 8 for that row. Is that same logic on fours and sevens, unfortunately. Here's some interesting logic that unfortunately doesn't help. Whether this is a four or six, no matter which order, it will hit this. So that can't be a four or six, but we already knew that. Still kind of neat logic to point out, though. Whether this is a 4 or an 8, it affects the square to having to be a 4 or an 8, because it hits everything in there. So if these are both 4s, then how does this all end? that because there has to be a four in that topmost region that all seems fine what about if instead this is a four line. 
Not sure what else it does. Yeah, I don't think it does much else. Now, if this is an 8, it becomes an 8. Ah, uh, right. If this is an 8, then there's no possible place to put an 8 in this region. So that is a 4. That might be what cracks this. I'm hoping anyways. Oof, what a puzzle, though. This has just been an insane ride. Da 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 tempo. Rare. Got this 5x wing, which I'm sure we'll be able to figure out. So it's missing in here now, I can fully notate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thing going on. That can't be eight. Can't be a nine. One, three, five, nine. This can't be a nine. I don't really want to fully notate that. I will fully notate this though, since it's only six things. Six, eight, one. Right. Um, I don't know how to notate what I want to notate. Oh, I see. Uh, so ones in here have to be in one of those two, so there can't be a one in either of these two squares. But if this is a 1, that's a 1, and that's a 1, and now there's nowhere to put a 1 there, so this has to be not a 1. This has to be a 1, that's a 1, and that's a 1. Alright, this is just an 8. So that's an 8. Wait. Something went wrong. If this is an 8, this is an 8. If this is a 4, this is a 4. So my logic was that if these are both 8s, then there's nowhere to place an 8 in this region. So they must be fours. Which forces an eight here and an eight here. Now there 
has to be 8 in one of those two squares. That's a 9. This is a 6, and that's a 4. And this is just unscrambling stuff. So now this has to be a 4, which moves 5 to the end of here. So we got 1, 3, 5, 9 left. And this can't be 1 or 9. If that's one, it kills all the ones. If it's nine, it kills all the nines. So this can't be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So that has to be a three. Which should finish off all the threes. So we got one five nine left to place. This is a five, and that's a five, which leaves this one nine pair. So this can no longer be a one or a nine. Must be an eight. I had a feeling Nitro would fix that, but it's not looking like it. needs one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, now this can't be an eight it would kill both possibilities in here, so this is an 8. That's an 8. That can't be a 4, so that's a 7, that's a 4. And we've got 6 and 1 left here. So 1's x-wing means that that can't be a 1. So this is the one. Two here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. 
That is definitely... You know what? I'll say it. That's the hardest puzzle I've ever done. The logic behind every step is so planned to be just <laughs> so brutal. But eventually, eventually I was able to pull through. So leave a like if you enjoyed this monster of a puzzle. And I will see you on the next one.